going guys? Welcome back to Basketball Down Under and today, where is Kai Soto going? So currently we're at a very interesting point on what is going on in Kai Soto's career. Unfortunately, he didn't get picked up in the NBA draft and that wasn't because of a lack of interest, that was because of a lack of interest from Kai's end. Kai didn't want a two-way deal or a draft and stash, which left him not many options. Him and his management team decided that for Kai to get better and be a better player, he needs to be playing, and those two options of a two-way contract or a draft and stash does not let him play on the court. So then we looked at some future options. Kai going to the NBA Summer League and seeing what he could do there, proving to the NBA scouts that he's better than that and deserves a full roster spot. The other option was, which was the option Joel Bell told us, was Kai Soto would be playing for the international team the Philippines national squad and that news was absolutely massive because Filipino fans want to see Kai represent his country show what he can do on the national level and at the same time that's really good for his development playing against grown men and he's also able to show his skills off at the international level especially with the FIBA World Cup qualifiers coming up the Asia Cup all these cups coming up he'd have a lot of opportunity to show off his skill and progress however we've just been informed on some massive news of Kai Soto's international career he is elected to not play play for the Philippines national squad at this very moment in time. That is huge. I cannot believe it because I'm just sitting here wondering what is Kai going to do? The NBA Summer League has started. He's not on a roster. He hasn't been picked up. He's not going to be on the international squad. So what's he going to do for the next four months until the NBL season starts? Trot Reese has said that Kai Soto has decided to do some other things. So that leaves me wondering, where is Kai going to go? There's a Puerto Rican basketball league running at the moment. There's some European and Asian teams going at the moment. Where's Kai going to go? Once again, I keep saying that he's not the best option for Kai. The best option for Kai is to return to Adelaide. But in this three months stint, where should Kai actually be? I don't know. Maybe the best option isn't for Kai to be on the court in a game situation. Maybe the best option for Kai is to be developing off the court with trainers getting the best work in. I'm still confused by the situation. Like, why is he not signed for an NBA Summer League team? Because game practice is the best practice you can get. He gets to show off his skill to the scouts at the same time he's improving his own game. I don't quite get why Kai isn't playing for the national team. That would have been the best situation possible. He would have been the best player on the team that would have ran the offense through him, he would have had an opportunity to show off every asset of his game from his shooting, his post scoring, his defense, and his playmaking abilities, Eastman has a 7-3 center. But now I'm just sitting here very much confused, very much wondering, where is Kai's next move? The number one option that I have rattling around in my head is that Kai's just going to train for the next couple months, get really strong, get really built, and get really ready for the next NBL season so he can boost his stock even more so then the future season he can get picked up for an NBA team. The one unrealistic option that I could see potentially happening is that Kai Soto's management is in talks with some NBA teams to get him an actual roster spot. But the reason that doesn't make sense is even if that was the case, they'd want him playing in the Summer League. But then I guess if they don't want him playing in the Summer League, maybe he could just be playing in the preseason for those teams. Maybe they think Kai is better than the Summer League. Maybe they think he's ready for the preseason. Very interesting aspect, but I don't quite understand them. Coming from me, an expert in the basketball game, I really did not understand why Kai Soto is pulling out of his national team duties. That was going to be this perfect spot. Now, going back to those leagues, like the Puerto Rican League and some of those Asian leagues and European leagues, do I see Kai going there? A lot of them are wrapping up. I know that Puerto Rican and leagues finishing very shortly. I don't see Kai joining a league at the very end. He's young. Young players are going to want to play the whole season and the team's going to want to play for the whole season. Only experienced veterans that are proven to drop 35 points a game sort of thing can get a late season contract spot. Kai Soto's not the kind of player that's going to get 35 points for you just yet. So I doubt he's going to get a contract like that. So that leaves me in the situation where I most likely see Kai Soto just training and trying to get as strong as possible in the next three to four months before the NBL season starts. Come back for the next NBL season better than ever and prove everyone wrong that he should have been drafted. You never know, halfway through the season he could prove to those NBA scouts he's ready for that full-time NBA position and he could end up on the Lakers trying to win an NBA championship in six months time. We never know. That's what's crazy about the basketball sector. You can get picked up as a free agent for nearly the whole season. That's unreal and we could really see Kai capitalise on that. But overall he's just got to keep putting in the work and he'll get better and better and even more recognised. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe, share this with your friends and I'll catch you later.